Death, taxes, and certain men not being able to control themselves on the topic or sight of a woman. If you're part of the 76% of viewers not subscribed yet, come aboard and join the wonderful subscribers of the channel. And also, don't be a creep. Like, it's really not that hard, is it? Now, yes, I've done some creepy stuff in my life. We all have. At least when we're young, we've all done something stupid. But the point is that you're supposed to learn from it. You do something dumb and weird when it comes to women or relationships or whatever when you're young. And then by the time you're an adult, you're normal. At least that's how it's supposed to be, but clearly not enough dudes follow that cycle. The weirdness just never goes away. Paul Skeens is one of baseball's hottest names right now. He was fun to watch and talk about when he was winning the College World Series a year ago with LSU. That was one thing. Then he dominates the minor leagues, literally makes it look like a video game. His fastball is otherworldly. He has nasty off-speed stuff and strikes people out more than anyone, so him being called up to the Pirates was and still is a big deal, considering he's living up to his expectations, at least so far. He's genuinely been disgusting, and it's fun to watch, and it also helps that he has a popular girlfriend. Did you know that? Did anyone watching this have any idea that Paul Skeens has a girlfriend and her name is Livy Dunn, the gymnast influencer? Does anyone know? Anyone know that? I don't think anyone knew that. It doesn't get talked about enough, so just had to make sure you know now because it's like, no nobody knows. It really has to be mentioned every five minutes. So yeah, now you know. Now here's my take on MLB promoting her. I actually have no problem with it. Like with the NFL promoting Taylor Swift, why wouldn't they? They'd be dumb not to. It's pretty clear that why they should take advantage of the literal top celebrity in the world right now dating a star player is Livy done on the same level as Taylor Swift obviously not close but she has a big enough social media platform to be notable and for MLB to post when she makes a post about her guy so no issues with that she's an athlete so is he it's pretty badass actually like Shohei and his wife who plays basketball in Japan that's cool what isn't cool is the genuine possibility that you can show certain dudes a picture of a girl like Livy Dunn and offer them 500 grand if they don't say any anything weird in the span of like five minutes and there's a good chance they won't be able to help themselves and will say something weird it's appalling i honestly don't get it these dudes act like they've never seen a girl in their entire life like they're talking about some endangered species or they just saw an alien okay look if you're young and you make some awkward comments about livy dunn even if it's cringe whatever it's when a 57 year old on live television mind you along with other middle-aged dudes start making weird and cringe remarks surprise this may shock you but mlb games are at the top of my favorite things to do and i'd assume the same for you i recently went to a game with my dad which is always great and i also went to grand american ballpark in cincinnati for the first time that was fun and thanks to game time i was able to get great deals on all the tickets the app is very simple and self-explanatory it gives you all the info you need to know if you're getting ripped off or saving money. Game time really has come up clutch for me with tickets as it really helps with finding great last minute deals, lowest prices possible, event cancellation and job loss protection. Game time is just all about finding ways to save you money. They're great, convenient. I honestly can't complain with any deal I've gotten from game time this season and you can have the same experience, but even better. All you have to do is download the game time app, create an account and use code ITALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code ITALK. I-T-A-L-K for $20 off. Take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Now, back to the video. Before the recent Tigers game against the Pirates, the Tigers broadcast was previewing Paul Skeen's start, who pitched the second game of that doubleheader, and showed Skeen's next to Livy Dunn side by side, deeming them Gen C's new power couple. And instead of showing any baseball stats, instead of comparing Levy Dunn's ERA and strikeout numbers to her boyfriend, friends, they showed how many followers each of them have on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Riveting stuff. And I really wish that's where this segment ended. But of course, these dudes couldn't control themselves at the sight of a young girl or woman, I should say, and make clear, obviously. It's on TikTok, as where Skeens is still trying to build his following there. 5.2 million followers on the old IG. Uh, Skeens just under half a million. 142,000 followers on X compared to Skeens' 20,500 followers. But Skeens' numbers will certainly grow as his popularity grows in the game of baseball. He's looking for that win total to grow, and let's hope it doesn't happen here today as he and the Pirates take on the Tigers in two games here in this double dip. Those guys will face each other in game two, and I'll tell you what, Torque said he's looking forward to matching up against Keen and building his own numbers as this day rolls on. Johnny, what you got? I uh, appreciate it, Trev. Just give me a second. <laughs> well, what's going on there, man? <laughs> you, you looking up Livy Dunn? Is that what you're doing? Oh. 
She just gave one more frog yeah. on TikTok <laughs> and IG, I would imagine, on X as well. Follow her on all the socials, Johnny. I don't do the TikTok. Okay, two things so far. Why is John Kane on his phone and telling them to hold on like they aren't on live TV doing a segment? What was he doing? I checked to see if he actually was following Livy Dunn and he isn't, although he could have unfollowed immediately. And same goes for Skeens, who he then kind of jokingly claims to have been following rather than Dunn, which you'll see. But also, why would Trevor Thompson even bring that up? Even if it's a joke, this seems like something pulled out of a family guy, like purposely made to be creepy and weird. It's a pretty obvious move to not continue talking about this dude's girlfriend on live TV. But don't worry, it gets weirder. No, I was following false schemes. Come She's on, a man. pretty good gymnast, national guys. championship gymnast at LSU. Yeah, I know. Uh, continuing on there, so yeah, I know Very you cool. know. Very you just, cool. just follow along. Are you are you interviewing Livy in the stands today? If I see her, I'm gonna try to track her down, see okay. if she'll come on Valley Sports with us. <laughs> Right? Shoot your shot. I'm going to see if you'll follow me. If you want to do a collaboration, you can help us find our living. Never stop by the Tigers Live Center. All right. Appreciate it very much. What the hell? I understand that the shoot your shot comment was about shooting his shot to get Livy for an interview, not on like a date or an offer to slam ham as Moist Critical would say. But what does shoot your shot imply? It's pretty obvious that it's these guys joking around, but to do it when they did the way they did on live television when it's so unnecessary? Like this is about Paul Skeens, why do you even have to mention Livy let alone go this far? She has nothing to do with the game. This isn't what I meant when I said MLB should promote her. Posting her TikToks or whatever or showing her supporting skeins is 100 percent great i'm totally backing that not multiple middle-aged men including one who i'm pretty sure is older than livy's dad talking about her like they're high school boys it's just so weird again i understand it's all a joke but it's still so uncomfortable and it's not even like this was the pirates broadcast doing it it was the tigers one anyone doing what happened in that clip would be weird but at least if the pirates did it it would make somewhat sense considering skeins is their guy but in what world does the tigers broadcast have any reason to make mentioned Livy Dunn's Instagram followers. It's just so cringe. That alone. And then what happens after? It's just not ideal. None of it. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's relationship may have been overdone or whatever, according to certain people, but at least it never got this uncomfortable or anything. Do these guys deserve to get canceled over this? No, obviously not. Not at all. But I definitely won't look at them the same. Not that I even knew who they were before this, but how can you take these guys any sort of seriously? The most unnecessary moment in MLB TV this year. I just don't get it. If you take away one thing from from this video just don't be a weirdo about women it's pathetic and self-degrading actually let's watch paul skeens dominate baseball without having to make some weird remarks about his girlfriend every five minutes is it really going to be that hard probably at least for middle-aged tigers broadcast guys apparently let me know what you think thank you for watching and i'll see you soon